Greetings, my esteemed audience. I am checking in from the Forest of Enlightenment with my yearly birthday video. Nine years in a row now. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Now, I thought to share some insights from my past year. This is actually the first time in in many years that I actually am somewhat excited to turn a year older and that is because I haven't had the best of years but it's actually a good year, a good productive year either way and I will explain why in a moment. So basically when I say it's been a bad year it has been nothing, nothing dramatic, more so a constant downpour of unpleasant and bad news but uh, when I calculate the balance of wins versus losses, two great wins, they far out outweigh the uh, losses and problems. Of course I'm talking about first and foremost the birth of our lovely second daughter and now she's got into a stage where she always laughs and smiles at me and that is um, yeah it's truly great it's something something special having a an unreasonably cute baby girl smiling at you when she sees you it's uh, yeah it's great I can't explain with words but uh, it feels feels absolutely amazing the second win is that I have written my second book initially I had hoped to publish it release it on this fine day as a birthday present to myself but I exercised some low time preference so it will be out in a few weeks instead I wanted to give it some more time I did not want to rush it I did not want to repeat my mistake I did with the first edition of Dauntless in 2019 which was somewhat rushed so I took some extra time with this one so that the book is perfect upon its first release and I do hope that it will be a popular and uh, well-loved book for many years to come so the point being is the following that you have to put your wins and losses against each other and make sure that your wins that they weigh heavier than your losses now there is a popular inspirational quote which I sort of like myself but I would like to caution against it as well so it's from one of the Rocky films and I do like the Rocky films I found them very inspirational in my youth when I watched them so basically Rocky says something along the lines of it is not how hard you can hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward and of course this uh, it's a boxing film so he's talking also about boxing the sport of boxing but it's a metaphor for life how many uh, hardships you can you push through so it's a good attitude to have but it's not enough because you also need to you also need to punch hard you also need to be able to dish out some damage in a fight if we're talking about actual martial arts of course you have to um, be able to deal some damage as well you can't only focus on your defense um, and when it comes to life you can't only weather the storm you also have to make things happen even though you're getting hammered with bad news and if you can withstand the, the storm so to speak or is the drizzle of rain pouring down upon you and you can be productive at the same time it will yield a win so what you don't want to do is you don't want to put yourself in a state where you are constantly on the defensive you also have to go on the offensive and the metaphor we're talking about life here we're not talking about martial arts but the two are often quite similar life and uh, martial arts so you can view yourself as fighting against life itself uh, and of course you love life it's a complicated relationship to have with life um, either way you uh, you have to go on the offensive as well otherwise yeah you won't when you balance the losses and wins if you don't stack up some great W's in the win column then uh, then yeah then things will not be good so you have to work continuously and if you do feel demoralized when bad things are happening you can at least think to yourself that if I keep working towards my goals the achievement of those goals those wins will far outweigh the bad stuff so that's a good way for you to 
cope actually it's a coping mechanism in a way to work hard it's a coping mechanism um, so a good way for you to cope with hardships and problems and setbacks is to work towards your goals because then you know that at least if I continue along this course of action even though uh, it might not be a pleasant time but if I do continue to push forward to my goals then when I reach those goals the the bad energies of the problems they will be uh, mugged so to speak by the positive energies of the winds so those were my thoughts for this yearly birthday video I hope it makes sense at least I am happy and I'm happy for many things so these other problems they get they get mugged by the good stuff so I work hard to achieve my goals and my goals they mug the problems that are constantly being thrown my way so I am happy and optimistic regardless so yeah to conclude do work towards your goals and if you feel a bit demotivated from time to time just keep that in mind that once you reach your goals that will that will heal your tormented spirit if you have been under stress and stuff like that so um, yeah something to keep in mind now I will eat some cake I believe this is the only reasonable course of action do check out all the links in the description box below do read Dauntless if you haven't already you can read it before you read Demigod Mentality which will be out in yeah as I said in in a few weeks I will make a video on it when it's out and make sure to subscribe to the greatest podcast I release two episodes a month now I have some more time since I'm done with the book good stuff good stuff indeed now thank you for watching and thank you for your continued support XXO boom